Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Midweek Mindset. So I want to jump in today. Two weeks ago, I started to say last week, we uh, took last week off for the first time in uh, uh, over a year. I uh, didn't do a Midweek Mindset or a blog. and uh, So we're back. And so two weeks ago, I offered you a challenge about knowing the, the background or the history a little bit. And uh, uh, just to go back and, and read the book, of Genesis and Exodus in the Old Testament. And then uh, when you finish those, go to read the book of Matthew and the book of Acts in the New Testament. We get the Old Testament, the patriarchs and things, and Genesis and Exodus, and, and some good background for what was to come from that. And then um, with Matthew we and uh, Acts, you get uh, the, the work of Christ on, on the earth and his ministry on the earth, and then you get the birth of the church moving forward. And so, it was important to, to know some background and history. And so to go along with that, what uh, I feel like we're led to do is to to follow along and, and uh, highlight a few of those things along the way as you're reading. So hopefully through uh, maybe January, February, you get through Genesis and Exodus. And and so as a guideline, instead of following along in, in what maybe you're reading, I wanted to just highlight a few of the folks that we come across and a few of the stories we come across um, in that, in that uh, Genesis and Exodus period. And so the best way to do that is to go to Hebrews chapter 11. And Hebrews chapter 11 um, starts out, it, and uh, some call it the Faith Hall of Fame or, or the chapter about um, a faithfulness or something. But uh, chapter 11 starts out, Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith we understand that the universe was formed as God's command, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. By faith, Abel offered God a better sacrifice than Cain did. By faith, he was commended as a righteous man when God spoke well of his offering. And by faith, he still speaks, even though he is dead. And so... Uh, I'm going to go that far into, Hebrew, into Hebrews chapter 11 and look at that Cain and Abel um, back in Genesis chapter 4. Cain and Abel, and um, we know the story, the Adam and Eve's first two children, right? And that we know that um, Abel, was a, Abel was a shepherd, and Cain worked in the fields and uh, um, grew crops, and that we know that and Scripture tells us that, that Cain brought a sacrifice, and, and, uh, and so did Abel. But God accepted one and rejected the other. And uh, that started the whole problem, right? There was jealousy that sprang up then, and along the way, and, and a murder that happened. And then we also see uh, a forgiveness or a God of second chance. We see grace in this also. So I'll take a quick look and then we'll go back to that Hebrews verse and, and, and kind of pull it all together. So Abel um, was a shepherd and, and it tells us in, in uh, Genesis chapter 4 that in, in verse 3, in the course of time Cain brought some of the first fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. But Abel brought fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. Cain became jealous um, of what was going on here. But here's an important thing to remember here, that it says Cain worked the soil in the course of time he brought some of, some, some of the fruits of the soil, is what it says and no other description, some of the fruits of the soil. But when it talks about what, um, what Abel brought, Abel brought fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock, the select, the best of the best. The best that he had is what, is what uh, Abel brought to that sacrifice. And so that God saw that and, and he... Uh, he he was uh, he accepted Abel's offering. There was somehow it was seen that it was accepted. There's different theories of how how they knew that, but uh, and he did not look upon favor of um, Cain's offering. 
And so Cain becomes jealous and God comes and speaks to him and says, the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must master it. Great deal there that, that there's, so um, he, he's upset that Cain is upset that his, his offering's not accepted. He's jealous. God comes in and says, hey, what's with the attitude? You know, if you do what's right, your offering will be accepted. But be careful because if you stay where you're at right now, sin is crouching at the door and, and it's going to have you. Temptation is going to, going to be there and, and get you with that. Well, we know what happens. <laughs> he, he lets that, he doesn't take that caution that God gives him and he goes on and, and he, he, he sins. He, he kills his brother. And the Lord comes to him and we know the, the verse, right? And the Lord says, Hey, he, where, um, Lord says, where is your brother Abel? And Cain says, what, am I my brother's keeper? Right? We, we've heard that line before. And, and God says, look, I know what you did. And the soil cries out from his blood. And I could hear that. And, and he's going to uh, banish him from that place and send him away. And he says, this is more than I can bear. And, but here's one other thing that don't miss. God says, listen, I'm going to put, he says, uh, people, if someone, I'm going to be banished from here, and somebody, if they find me, they're going to kill me, and God says, I'm going to put a mark upon you that no one will kill you, and he gives them a second chance, and, and in that, uh, Cain, Cain is able to, um, Cain is able, got to be careful with that, right? <laughs> Cain then has family who become great patriarchs in his descendants through the time. Um, and so that's important. There's a, there's a few things here. Why the offering? Why was one accepted? Because one was from the heart, the very best that, that uh, he had to bring. Abel brought the, the very best that he was able to bring. And the, the first of first uh firstborn the, the 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 fat portion the the very best and and Cain brought what was convenient and that's the difference in how we worship and how we and how we give and how we serve our Lord is it is it giving the very best that we have or is it just giving what's convenient so there's there's one of the lessons in that. There's the lesson of the temptation. He, he's, he's mad and he's jealous, and God says, listen, if you do what's right, in other words, if you, if you fix your heart, everything will be good, but if you stay where you're at right now, it's going to be worse. Temptation is crouching at your door, and, and we know what happens. And, it, and he took and he committed murder in, in that. But then we also see grace, God's grace that, that he gives and um, allows, um, protects that no one will come and, and kill uh, Cain and that, that his descendants would be, would be great people um, that we'll see in future weeks. So there's a few things to keep in that and then we're gonna come back to, to um, that Hebrews verse I read, Hebrews um, 11, four, by faith, Abel offered God a better sacrifice than Cain. Why? Well, we talked about it. It's about the heart. It was the intent of the sacrifice that that made it, it better. By faith, then, Abel was commended as a righteous man when God spoke well of his offering. And by faith, he still speaks even though he's dead. He still speaks even though he's dead. How is that? Because he was an example of what it's like to, to give your all, to give your best to God and as in worship. Uh, not, not to see what you get out of it, but as sacrifice um, in worship to God and your commitment to God and that he would bless that. And, and that example still speaks to us today. Hope you've enjoyed our, our first installment. We'll, we'll move further through Hebrews 11 um, next week. Have a great day.